Good afternoon and welcome to CSA News. I'm Shafo. And I'm Fu. This week we're bringing Professor Mark Anderson from University of Wisconsin. He and his colleagues from the Wisconsin Center for Space Automation and Robotics had worked in collaboration with CAS Science and Technology to develop an air filter that has the potential to kill anthrax spores. Anthrax is an extremely deadly disease caused by a bacillus anthracis. Three main ways to contract this disease is by either breathing, breathing it in, eating contaminated food, or by letting it enter through your body. Now let us show you an animation that portrays the effects of anthrax. Three types of anthrax exist depending on where it enters your body, but by far the most dangerous one is inhalation anthrax because it is so minute and easy to inhale if you do not notice it entering your body. The bacteria that causes anthrax, Bacillus anthraxis, stays dormant inside a structure known as an endospore. However, when it comes into contact with human tissue, it begins to multiply. Once the bacteria is in the bloodstream, it produces lethal factor, edema factor, and protective antigen. Some protective antigen binds with lethal factor to form lethal toxin. Other forms of protective antigen bind with edema factor to form edema toxin. Both of these toxins are extremely harmful to human beings. Symptoms of anthrax vary from chest pain, to difficulty breathing, to meningitis, and finally, to blood oozing out of all available orifices of the body. Because anthrax spores can be distributed so easily, and because it kills its host so quickly, it has since been used by bioterrorists to inflict harm upon the world. We'll be back after this short commercial. Are you tired of being late for community meeting? Have unreliable roommates, perhaps? Should we wake him up? Nah. Well, stop being tired, you sleepyhead. Introducing the new Romario alarm clock. The Romario alarm clock has been specially engineered to play your favorite songs in the morning. Just check for yourself. It's Friday, Friday, everything's down on Friday. We party on Friday, we're going to school on Friday. It's Friday, Friday, Friday. You can easily program it to get you through the morning as well. My shiny teeth and twinkles, just like the stars in space. My shiny teeth that sparkles, adds beauty to my face. My shiny teeth that glisten. I like conventional alarm clocks that have to use batteries and stuff. All you need for the Romario alarm clock is just food and water. How easy. But wait, there's more. If you order within the next five minutes, we'll include a free microphone that can further amplify his yes. amazing voice. <laughs> To order the Romario alarm clock for $299 plus $249.99 shipping and handling, call 1-800-FAKE-NUMBER. Once again, that's 1-800-FAKE-NUMBER. Or visit our website at www.romarioalarmclock.com. You must be 18 years or older to call. Order today. Well, welcome back. I hope you guys enjoyed the commercial. Maybe the interview with Professor Mark Anderson will tell us a little bit more. We should. Let's go to the interview. Oh, hey, Professor Mark, I'm Sheikho from CSA News. Ah, uh, ah, uh, alright. Hi, my name is Mark Anderson. Yeah, I was wondering if we could get a quick interview about anthrax for us. Sure, definitely. Let's go over here. So, um, I was wondering what were some of the events that led to the creation of the aerosol here in the aerosol? Well, it all originated with us wanting to plant, um, grow plants in space. But the thing is, we needed to have a greenhouse, which is an enclosed environment for these plants. And the problem with that is that the plants release an organic compound known as ethylene. Mm -hmm. uh, usually, in like real life, the ethylene would just disperse into the air. But since this is an enclosed environment, it causes the plants to uh, the ethylene to be trapped, and then the plants will mature prematurely. Back at the lab, my colleagues and I found out that when we had uh, thin layers of titanium dioxide, and you mix it with UV rays, it efficiently converts ethylene into carbon dioxide and water, which are good, good things for the plants. So aerosol was created? Actually, not yet. You see, it worked well in space, and now we join forces with Kess Science and Technology Incorporated to create a machine that would work just as well on Earth, and we call it BioKess. We put BioKess into supermarkets because it has a very practical use because 
all we need was just just put it around the produce, and it would um, prevent the like the spoilage of the plants and like the food, like you know, other food products. And then we found out that it had an additional um, purpose because it could also have the ability to kill airborne dust mites, and this included anthrax. So now all we need to do was we actually made the biopest machine stronger by having like stronger UV ray lamps. And then the aerocyte titanium dioxide machine was born. We were wondering how the aerocyte titanium machine actually works. Alright. So pretend that this is our machine. Here are the thin layers of titanium dioxide. When UV light touches the surface, it creates charge on this whole surface. So there's negative charge here, positive charge here. And then there's water vapor molecules all around us. When water vapor gets into contact with this surface, it gets split up into hydronium ions and hydroxide ions. Because these hydroxide ions they have the ability to disrupt organic molecules, living molecules, including anthrax molecules. Because the anthrax spores are living things as well. So once it comes into contact with hydroxide, you get vaporized. Wow. Well, thank you for having me all right. See you. P pleasure talking to you. Wow. So Professor Mark Anderson was a main contributor to making the aerocyte titanium dioxide machine to eliminate anthrax. How do you feel about that? Well, I never knew that ethylene-based converter could be used to eliminate the spread of anthrax. Well, we hope you all have learned something about the new anthrax disease and the solutions that are being created to combat this new growing threat. That's it for today. Thanks for watching with us. Bye.